हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मुनम फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अवर चैनल ऑफ डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स वेर वी डिस्कस वर्ल्ड प्रेस एंड वो कॉमर्स सोल्यूशन दैट कैन हेल्प यू ग्रो योर ऑनलाइन बिजनेस विच विल अल्टीमेटली असिस्ट यू टू प्रोवाइड अ टॉप नॉच यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन हेंस स्टे ट्यून विद अवर चैनल टू कीप गेटिंग बैक टू बैक प्रोडक्ट टूटोरियल्स एंड इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स Today's demo video is on the CRM integration for Zoho plugin in which I will demonstrate how to set up the plugin you can check and get the plugin from the video's description or for any doubt you can put your queries in the comment section and we will be glad to help you Before proceeding with the plugin setup part let's understand what is CRM integration for Zoho plugin CRM integration for Zoho is a plugin that will help the WooCommerce merchants to seamlessly connect Zoho CRM with WooCommerce enabling efficient management of data. It also facilitates the creation of fields, mapping WooCommerce fields to Zoho modules and synchronizing historical data with options like one click and bulk data sync, two way deletion and many more features including detailed log data and much more. So now let us proceed to the uh, setup part. So now let us proceed to the setup part. We are on the WordPress dashboard and before we move to the plugin setup part, if you really like watching the plugin setup videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel and like and share the video. So firstly, let us see how we can quickly install the plugin. So firstly, you need to visit WooCommerce. Uh, visit WooCommerce.com that is this and here you need to search for CRM integration for Zoho plugin and you can get this plugin and once you have got the zip file so you need to go to plugin section and you can click on add new and here you can upload the zip file that you have got you have uh, chosen the zip file you can click on install now and you can click on activate so once you have activated the plugin so here you can see in this installed plugin section so let us click on this so this is the plugin so from here you can click on settings or directly you can hover on this WP swings and you can click on this so let us click on this so we are on the backend settings so these are the particular steps that you need to follow so firstly is connect your Zoho CRM account with WooCommerce and then you need to create feeds for your contacts products deals and orders and then you can sync your data over Zoho CRM so firstly let us click on connect your account so here you can click on use global app and here uh, this is the Zoho domain that is India.in so here you can select whatever the uh, domain that is showing like uh, when I will click on login and authorize so here uh, you need to sign in to Zoho or you can create an account so let me log in so let us click on next and here let me enter the password so let me click on sign in so here you need to click on accept button so let us click on accept so as you can see that authentication has been successful and directly it has been synced with Zoho and WooCommerce. So this is how firstly you need to log in to Zoho and then you can uh, sync your data over Zoho with this plugin CRM integration for Zoho. So let us click on move to next step. And here these are particular feeds that we have provided like uh, four default feed, uh, four default feeds are there contact, contacts, product, deals and orders. So let us click on create feeds. So let us click on move to next step. So as you can see that uh, we have successfully set up the CRM integration for Zoho plugin. So here we can check all the created feeds and their mapping and he, we can start with syncing the data by enabling instant or background sync options from the settings. And then we can sync the historical data using bulk sync feature in data sync tab. So let us click on view dashboard. So now, so for now, as you can see that in the dashboard, uh, no zero contacts uh, are synced and zero products, deals and orders are not synced. So here uh, we have also provided the option to reauthorize or disconnect the account if the if the admin wants to disconnect. And here uh, you can refresh the access token. And here the Zoho connection status is showing as connected. And if you want help, you can check out the documentation. Or if you are facing any issues, so directly you can uh, uh, directly you can connect to our support, and they will provide uh, and they will provide you with the best solutions regarding your issues. So firstly, let us uh, go to settings. And here you can enable instant sync or background sync. So either you can enable instant or background sync because uh, for background sync uh, that means uh, when the background sync is enabled the syncing of the data is automatically done in every five minutes so it is recommended to use either background sync or instant sync 
so if you want to enable instant sync uh, like if you want to sync the data instantly according to the feed event so from here you can enable this and let me click on save and now let me go to data sync and here let me perform bulk data sync one by one so firstly let us uh, sync products so this is the default product feed so let me click on start sync so the process has been completed so let me click on ok and let me go to logs so here as you can see that feed has been synced and here this is the zoho object id so let me click on this so this is the zoho object id for this default product feeds that has been synced so let me click on this so here as you can see that the product data has been synced along with the product category unit price and here are the details for like uh, for the particular uh, for the particular product like this is the product name and product code product owner unit price so all the data that has been uh, synced so it is showing here over zoho so it is showing here over zoho so here as you can see that uh, the all the data is showing over here when that uh, when we have performed the bulk data sync to sync all the product data over zoho so let us again go back so let us go back and perform other uh, syncing for like contacts and here let me click on start sync so here as you can see that the process has been complete uh, process has been completed and the objects have been synced so let us click on ok and here let us perform for sales order and here let me click on start sync uh, so here as you can see that the process has been completed and the objects have been synced and we have performed the sync for all the feeds so this is how the admin can perform the bulk data sync to sync all the WooCommerce objects of the site to the CRM in the one in one click. So once he has connected the account, so he can uh, enable the instant sync and he can also perform the bulk data sync. And once he has performed the bulk data sync, he can also perform the one click sync in case if he wants to sync all the newly or failed WooCommerce objects data of the site to the CRM. So he can perform the one click sync. So now let us go to logs. So as you can see that all the sales feed and deals feed have been synced and it is showing in the log section. So from here let us click on this. So this is the sales order feed and here it is showing has like a status and here is the contact details and sales order information is showing here over Zoho like this. So this is how you can easily perform the data sync and you can check the logs if any, uh, if any error is there so the Zoho object ID will not appear here. So this is how data sync uh, works and this is how you can see the logs from here like you can see the feed and you can expand to see the details in case if any error is showing so from here you can easily check this. So we have completed the data sync tab and log section tab so in case if you want to reload or clear the log or download the log so you can click on this download to download the logs and if you want to clear the log so from here you can clear the logs and now let us move to next tab that is feeds. So we are on the feeds tab so basically we have provided four default feeds that are sales order feed, contacts feed, deals feed and product feeds and here you can also add feeds as per your requirements and if you want to uh, edit already created default deals feed as per your requirements like if you want to change the object, event, primary field and conditions let's suppose if I want to edit like default product feed so let me click on this and here we have selected the object as product so if uh, the admin wants to change uh, for another any of other object so he can easily select it from here next the option come uh, for map fields so from here uh, like this is the zoho field that is product name and here uh, the admin has to match the field value for the woocommerce so we have selected product name uh, and here this is the product code and we have uh, selected this static string for this product id same unit price we have selected the field value as price so this is how you have to map it correctly uh, in order to sync the data correctly and if you want to add new field so from here you can select this and let's suppose if i want to add like sku so let me click on add field and here now the field value has to be selected from the product because this is the product field so from here you need to select this sku otherwise uh, the syncing will not be proper so let's suppose this is the product section and here let me select this sku so this is how the mapping has to be done because uh, this is the product feed so that's why uh, this has to be selected from the product feed product section and also the event uh, which you will see here we have selected product updated or created 
so that's why you have to keep in mind that the mapping has to be done accordingly uh, so this is how you can easily add the field next is uh, sync variable product so if you want to like uh, if you want the option to sync the parent product for variation so from here you can easily do it and here you can already select the event on which this field will be triggered like i have selected uh, whenever the product is updated or created so this event uh, this field will be triggered and this is the conditional filter that we have provided in this plugin like if you want to enable conditional filters on data syncing let's suppose if this functionality is enabled so here you can add the or filter so here you can select like uh, you can apply the conditions for the data syncing like on which particular filters the data syncing can be done so from here you can select the field and you can select the condition and here you can define the conditional filter for the data syncing so this is how you can provide the conditional statements uh, for the data syncing so let us again go back so this is how you can update so this is how you can edit the product fields and similarly you can also do it for other fields that have been provided like sales uh, like deals feed contacts feed sales order feed so this is how you can easily edit and you can customize as per your requirements so this was all about the feed section now let us move to settings tab so already I have explained you about instant sync and background sync. So basically instant sync is not dependent like when you have connected the account. So you have to uh, enable instant sync. So basically we enable instant sync in order to see the real time syncing. Otherwise you can uh, solely perform this data sync. Uh, uh, otherwise uh, once you have connected the account. So you can directly perform the bulk data sync. There is no need to enable the instant sync. But you can enable instant sync in order to sync the data in real time. Next is WooSync logging. So if you want to check the log section. So this must be enabled. Otherwise the logs will not be visible. And if you want to delete the log after, uh, after particular number of days. So here you can select. And after which the log entries will be deleted from the database. And if you want to uh, like wipe the data on disconnect let's suppose if you, if this functionality is enabled so all data will be wiped up when the once the account has been disconnected next we have also provided these functionalities to synchronize the product stock in woocommerce like uh, when this functionality is enabled so let's suppose in this zoho whenever any stock is updated so automatically in the woocommerce it will be automatically updated when this functionality is enabled same goes for synchronized order status in WooCommerce like enable to update the order status in WooCommerce when updated in Zoho. Like when this functionality is enabled. So here you will get this option like uh, when on particular which status uh, this Woo order status should be selected like when this uh, on the Zoho order status it is written as created. So I want on processing and when the Zoho order status is approved I want to select like completed and delivered I want to select completed and when this is cancelled so let me select failed so this is how whenever any order status is changed uh, whenever any order status is changed on Zoho like uh, from created to approved so automatically on the WooCommerce order status it which it will be changed to processing to completed automatically so this can be done with this functionality from here next is reduce the stock quantity of product when an order is placed so if you want to if you want this option to reduce the number of products in zoho crm when an, when an order is placed in woocommerce so from here you can enable this functionality next is sync coupon uh, in uh, sync coupon discount in line items and sync coupon discount in both line item as well and as well as in parallel to subtotal like if you want to show the discount in the line items or in the parallel so you can enable this or if you want to show in the both like in the line line items as well as parallel items so from here this can be enabled so let me explain you how this will work but firstly let me explain you about this also like product deletion from woocommerce to zoho or product deletion from zoho to woocommerce so let's suppose if this functionality is enabled so when any object product is deleted so automatically from the zoho it will be deleted so let me explain you how this will work so let me click on save so now let me place any order so we are on the card page and let me apply the coupon code and let me proceed to checkout. 
so the order has been received as you can see that and now uh, let me go to uh, backend and here let me go to this log section so as you can see that this is the feed that has been updated automatically so let me click on this so as you can see that uh, the wood is it is showing as dollar dollar uh, five and when I will scroll down so as you can see that uh, it is uh, the discount is showing in the line items and it is also showing here also because from the back end from here in the setting section we have selected this option or we have enabled this option to sync coupon discount in both line item as well as in parallel to subtotal so that's why it is showing here so that's why it is showing here in the line item as well as parallel to uh, like subtotal here as you can see that it is showing here also and it is showing here also but if you want to enable only for uh, sync coupon discount in the line item so from here you can enable this and you can disable this so this is how this functionality works now let me show you this functionality so firstly let me create any dummy uh, dummy product so i have created this product so let me click on publish and here uh, let me sync manually so let me go to log section so this is the default product feeds uh, that has been synced so this is the product that has been synced so let me click on this so this is the product that is uh, synced over zoho so this is uh, this and here let me decide so let me decide the price also and here let me click on update so as you can see that the price has been updated here over zoho instantly and now this is the product let's suppose this is the product so let me click on all product section and one more thing like uh, before moving it to trash uh, here you can see that so as you can see that the product is active now as tick is showing here so as soon as i will uh, move the product to trash so the product will become inactive now let me refresh this so here as you can see that now the product is inactive as you can see that the tick is uh, tick is not visible so let us again go back and here let me click on uh, let me click on trash and here let me delete this uh, product permanently so automatically over zoho the product will be deleted so let me refresh this So as you can see that this action cannot be performed the record you are trying to access has been deleted so this is how from the back end like product deletion from woocommerce to zoho or product deletion from zoho to woocommerce works so this is how we have provided these functionalities uh, to provide the ease with this plugin like you can easily uh, allow product deletion from woocommerce and automatically it will be deleted over zoho and vice versa and when I will go to dashboard, so as you can see that all the contacts and products, deals and orders have been synced, have been synced successfully because we have performed the bulk data sync for all the four feeds like for contacts, products, deals and orders. So this is how this plugin works and how you can easily sync the data over Zoho with this plugin and perform the two way deletion and other, fe and other features which are provided in this plugin. So this was all about the demo video on CRM integration for Zoho plugin. The links to the product have been mentioned in the video's description content. You can check and get all the details for any doubt contact us anytime and we will be glad to help you. And if you are facing any queries regarding the plugin functionality so you can mention your queries in the comment section. And if you are new to our channel, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video and press the bell notification icon to get all the latest updates related to our channel. Until the next video, stay connected with us. Thank you.